guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel how we doing I have so much for us to unbox and I'm excited I'm gonna be honest stacking all of these for thumbnails is the hardest part hi my name is Sam welcome back to my channel how we doing <laughs> I'm already sweating it's fine um, I've got lots to open and unbox with you guys so we're just gonna get into it I'm gonna start with book of the month. I did skip Aardvark this month just because nothing was super catching my eye. I really follow Aardvark for like their horror picks and I just wasn't super interested so I decided to skip but I did get something from book of the month which I got The Stranger Upstairs by Lisa M. Matlin and my bookmark says In the Throes of Prose. Um, this is such a pretty cover I really like the colors and just how it looks we've got yellow um, way shorter than I thought I'm gonna be totally honest with you this is like 275 pages and I don't remember what this is about I know there's like a haunted house thing going on okay most people wouldn't buy an infamous murder house to renovate for fun but Sarah Slade is not most people she's not like other girls a therapist and a self-help writer with all the answers Sarah has just bought a gorgeous Victorian in the community of her dreams turns out you can get a killer deal on a house where someone was murdered Woo! <laughs> plus renovating Blackwood house makes for a great blog content and a potential distraction from her failing marriage good thing nobody knows that Sarah's past is tainted by the blood stain on her bedroom floor but the renovations are fast becoming a nightmare. Sarah imagined custom avocado wallpaper, massive profit, and an appreciative husband who would want to share her bed again. Instead, the neighbors hate her guts and her husband still sleeps on the couch. And though the builders attempt to cover up Blackwood's horrifying past, a series of bizarre accidents, threatening notes, and unexplained footsteps in the attic only confirm for Sarah what the rest of the town already knows. Something is very wrong with that house. With every passing moment, Sarah's life spirals further out of control and with it her sense of reality. But as she peels back the curling wallpaper and discovers the house's secrets, she realizes that the deadly legacy of the black wood house has only just begun. This just sounds so fun, so spooky. I think this will just be a nice, quick horror thriller to pick up uh, come October. A gruesome history, a hostile neighborhood, a new owner with a shocking secret back. Welcome to Blackwood House. I love that the house has a name that always makes it just like way more exciting. Oh, great. All right, next, I guess let's jump into the owl crates. We'll start with the owl crate adult. I do think I got one spoiler for a fairy loot. Not sure which though. <gasps> is this what I think it is? No. Oh, interesting. Okay, so the adult pick for Owl Crate is an Olive Blake book. So this is Masters of Death by, um, by Olive Blake. I was not. <gasps> wow. I was so not expecting this book. Holy crap. This is gorgeous. Um, I've heard people talk about it because obviously it's Olive Blake. But this is so pretty. Viola Merrick is a struggling real estate agent and a vampire. But her biggest problem currently is that the house she needs to sell is haunted. Okay, something about a haunted house is in the air. The ghost haunting the house has been murdered and until he can solve the mystery of how he died, he refuses to move on. Fox Demora is a medium and though he is also most definitely a shameless fraud, he isn't entirely without his uses seeing as he actually he's actually the godson of death okay when viola seeks out fox to help her with her ghost infested mansion he becomes in inextricably involved in a quest that neither he nor vi expects or wants but with the help of an unruly a sharp voiced angel a love-stricken reaper and a few mindfulness practicing creatures Vi and Fox soon dis discover that the difference between a mysterious lost love and an annoying dead body isn't nearly as distinct as they thought. Ooh, I love that they tell us the, like, artists on the dust jacket. I think that's great. So the art jacket art designed by Tim Bereen, reverse dust jacket by a little 
Chumra, The Foil Design by Gretchen Kobot and End Pages by Gretchen Kobot and Avidel Art. Wow. So, <laughs> if we remember, um, Owl Crate Adult was just released, and this sounds so interesting, and I'm so excited. I didn't love the Atlas 6, but I'm in intrigued to see um, the progress that Olive Blake makes. I definitely will continue with her series, but um, if we remember, last month's Owl Crate was the new Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong, and it was like not to this level. Like, this has stencil edges, this has beautiful art, oh my god. Um, and Immortal Longings did not. Immortal Longings was just like a very generic pretty cover of a book, but nothing special. Like, this definitely is the level of special edition that I am expecting from Owl Crate, and they definitely stepped up. I knew that I was, I knew it, I knew they would do better. Alright, so the August theme is Through the Seasons. Here's our little spoiler card. Okay, first, of course, whoop. Of course, I'm going to start with the Treasured Tomes, their pin collection. I'm obsessed with them. Okay. So this says Encyclopedia of Fairies. Oh, how cute with the little mushrooms. Oh, I love this. October 29th, 1909. Oh, how cute. Oh, this one's adorable. I really like this one. So obviously this is the book Encyclopedia of Fairies. She's so pretty. I love the rose gold. Okay, the next thing that, I, thing that I'm seeing is Bergamot and Autumn Woods Fiction Bath Co. Rook. What is this? Is this a bomb? Oh, Okay, that smells like a man. You know, just like those musky, like, male cologne scents? That's what this is. Very musky. Okay, this is... Fiction Bath Co. brings the autumn season to life with a solid perfume inspired by Enchantment of Ravens. It is vegan and holds scents of bergamot and autumn woods. Wear this before a walk through the fall forest or a cozy day of reading. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a perfume in a bomb not format um solution i guess very interesting it smells nice it's a little like heavy in a smell but i do like it okay the next thing that i see is a thing oh wow those are tiny <laughs> these are the smallest tabs i think i've ever seen on the outside it says this is what you must remember the ending of one story is just the beginning of another and then on the back it says the seasons winter spring summer fall death is in Death is the fifth and master of all. I like that. That's kind of nice. I do really like this, like, nice little pouch, but I like how skinny they are. Just because, like, one, you get quite a few, but also they're not going to take up much space. Um, the ones that I use are see-through for the most part, so, like, it doesn't bother me too much. But I do, I do kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. I do, I like, kind of like it. I also barely annotate, so that's always good for me. Okay, so this is Story Doorways. I want to say this is two of four that they're doing. I like that they're different shapes. Oh, okay. So this one's inspired by Narnia. For those who's constantly cross over the threshold into fictional worlds, we've created a collection of stunning wooden doorways inspired by the stories that you love to lose yourself in. We're entering through the wardrobe and embarking on an adventure of the magical land of Narnia, the Chronicles of Nar Narnia doorway designed by Ice Wreath. I'm truly obsessed with these like they're just so pretty and cute and I just think they make really nice shelf decor it doesn't stay up super well but it is really pretty and really cute I really like these they're like one of my favorite items the last one that we got was the hobbit door and I just it's one of my favorite shelf decorations all right and the last bookish item is a tin she's kind of cute I like this okay yeah so it's just like an empty tin our next item is sure to bring you closer to the land of fair of the fairy our uh, court of thorns and rose inspired tin is beautifully designed by at is Tommen underscore Dennis and features art depicting each of the seven courts in the series how pretty I have no clue what I would put in this I don't drink tea so like that's what my brain would automatically go to it's like oh cool tea tin but I don't I don't drink that so maybe like a hot cocoa tin I do like that I like how simple this is it doesn't like 
jump out at you and go, I'm a bookish thing. <laughs> it's just, it's just very pretty and I like it. I'll find a use for it. I'm sure. Honestly, I'm really leaning towards the hot cocoa thing right now. <laughs> and of course, the last thing in here is the book. This is Omen of Ice by just uh, Cardo. When a fae falls in love, it's forever. This is giving like super winter vibes with like the pale ice blue, which I'm so here for. This looks like a cozy fantasy. Our lives cannot stop. They will, they will all be watching us. <gasps> wow, so pretty. So it's signed and it's got the owl crate note inside. This is so nice. I'm so excited to have like a, wow, this is, is so pretty this reverse dust jacket art i'm so excited to have like a proper winter book that's so exciting okay oh no <laughs> um i'm so sorry i'm gonna butcher this name keltania keltania toon has spent her whole life training to become a bodyguard for a winter fae it's the highest of honors for a druid <gasps> a druid that's so exciting okay only when tania arrives at the winter court for the first time nothing is what she expected her assignment is the heir to the throne, Valen. Or Valen? Valen? I'm gonna go with Valen. <laughs> and he doesn't want her protection. In fact, he wants her gone yesterday. But Tania will not compromise. Even if he is the most arrogant jackass. This says jackass in the dust jacket. Wow. I am surprised that Owlcrate young adult is cursing, but I'm here for it. Most arrogant <laughs> jackass she's ever met. Because something isn't right with the winter court. Everyone has secrets from the winter lord in from the winter lord to the kitchen maids to the rising faction that once the prince dead no one is who they seem and now it's up to Tanya to keep her sacred oath and protect Valen even when his smart mouth makes her skate a razor thin edge between love and hate but the more she gets to know him the more she realizes his secret is the biggest of all and might just get them both killed Ooh. i will be so honest with you um I actually have a story idea in mind because of one of those like your dream or your like your perfect Christmas movie but it's based off like your star sign your sun moon sign and your rising sign and I did that and mine was a winter setting um, bodyguard type of story so I do actually have something kind of similar in mind which I think is going to be so fun for me because this will be like a huge inspiration for that story. But this sounds really cute and I'm so excited. I for sure want to get to this come December, like January. This just sounds like a great time and I just, huh. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say like I'm a big fan of because I haven't really read the trope much, but I do like the idea of the bodyguard royal romance trope, but like make it fantasy and swap the gender so the girls the bodyguard like something about that just like really intrigues me and i'm so here for this so this is gonna be really exciting especially because she's a druid like i understand like druid could just mean like has magical powers with nature but could also mean that she could shape shift into an animal and i'm really intrigued to figure out what that means oh my god do you think she's the wolf <gasps> that'd be so cool okay i'm so into this holy shit <laughs> That's maybe like my favorite owl crate box this year. Um, next, oh, of course, of course, of course. Next month's theme for September is Drown Your Secrets. Um, I have an idea of what that is. <laughs> I think that the book that's gonna be with that one, if you're not sure, uh, I don't wanna spoil it in case you don't know the puzzle pieces because you don't know like, what's coming out soon. But I think a lot of these boxes are gonna have the same book next month. And I'm Okay with it. I think I'm okay with that because I'm so excited for it. All right, that concludes the outcrate. Let's jump into fairy loot. It's truly like one of my favorite things. Opening all of these boxes, it really feels like Christmas sometimes, and it lifts the spirits just right up. All right, so this month's theme is powerful bloodline. I think I know what this is. I could be so wrong. Oh, I have no clue what this is. Okay, so first things first, we've got this beautiful art print. She is gorgeous. I really love this art design. Okay, nice, nice, nice. And then we've got Forged by Blood. Oh, I'm so sorry. Egabor? Egabor. Okosun? Okosun? I'm so sorry. 
Um, I will look up the pronunciations when I pick this book up. Um, they took her language, her mother, and her home. They hunt her people for the blood magic that sings through them. Now Demi has their prince and no intention of letting him go. There will be blood. Oh my god. One of my favorite things about Fairy Loot is the stenciled edges that like match the cover. It's just so freaking pretty. It It's truly next level. Oh my god, I love them. <gasps> Shit, I'm obsessed. No. <gasps> Ooh. This is just gonna be me ooing and awing. Oh my god. <gasps> wow. This is so pretty. <gasps> I love these colors. Oh my god, I'm... I'm on cloud nine today. Okay. Demi only wanted to survive, to avoid any suspicion of the tyrannical ages occupying her homeland, to escape the king's brutal genocide of her people, the Aluso, and to live her and to live peacefully with her secretive mother and learning to control the blood magic that is her birthright. But survival has given way to vengeance, a betrayal has cost her mother's life, and Demi demands payment. She bides her time until the devious Lord Equincy grants her the perfect opportunity, kidnap the AJ Prince, and bargain to save the remaining Aluso. She sets out on her hunt with her childhood childhood friend, Colin, in tow, but the way ahead proves far more dangerous than either of them could have imagined. For she and the prince share more than deadly secrets, and every moment will tangle them further into a forbidden, unmistakable attraction. If she is to claim justice for her mother and her people, Demi will not be able to trust anyone or anything. Not Colin, not her fledging, fledgling magic, not even her own heart. A tale of rebellion and redemption, love and lies, forged by blood, is epic fantasy at its finest, richly steeped in Niger Nigerian mythology. Ooh! This sounds very interesting. I am quite intrigued. I do love, and me and Eliza talk about this all the time, we're both really big fans of Friends to Lovers. Like, that's one of our favorite tropes. But we read a lot of fantasy, and it's and it's a lot more rare for fantasy books to do Friends to Lovers. So I'm just so into this. All right, jumping in to the young adult now. Little, little, little damaged, little cramped. All right, reap what you sow. August 2023, fairy loot, young adult. All right, the first thing, I'm so excited. This is a Belladonna tumbler designed by Dre Gomez. Um, Belladonna is kind of like all the rage right now because Fox Club just came out. Let's see, I think this is gonna be real freaking pretty. Oh, there's a straw. Oh, okay. Definitely more on the simple side. Okay, this is so pretty. This says, you are mine and I am yours. And together, this world is ours. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <gasps> I, I just recently said in a video how, like, I'm so excited to be back in the world of Belladonna with Foxglove because I'm so excited to be back with Death, but I don't care about sick. <laughs> I was like, ah, she's fine. But Death, who? so hot i'm this is so pretty i was expecting more of like a like a wine tumbler or a water bottle glass but this is so pretty i love these so much i just think they're so nice i'm gonna leave that there so it doesn't break okay we also got some end what do you call these end bookends <laughs> i was halfway there right um so they're just little skull boys how cute Okay, let me see what this has to say. Bookends designed by Jez Hawk. The bookends are inspired by Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Moore and will ensure your ever-growing stack of books does not topple over. Perfect! I can actually just like put those with my, my books. That's so cool. These are really pretty. I like them. They're given like spooky vibes. Like these are like really good uh, like October Halloween decor. Okay, the next thing that I'm seeing is Bone Season Book Tabs by at Blanca Designs. Oh, interesting. Okay. These are not my favorite tabs um, that we get typically, but these look like the type you buy on, you know how like we annotate, we all buy the same tabs on Amazon. These are like that, but pretty and like properly designed. So whenever I read the Bone Season series, I now have beautiful tabs to mark my pages with. These are so cool. This should absolutely be done more. I want more like custom book specific tabs. That's that's actually pretty cool. Okay, next thing. I think these are straws. Yes. 
very small. <laughs> okay. Metal straws designed by at Blanca Designs. A gothic twist to your next drink with these skull metal straws. These are actually really cool, but they're very small. But I do like them. They're pretty. I don't, I'm never going to turn down straws. Straws are so important. Okay, the next thing in here is a sticker sheet. This is designed by at No One Designs. Yeah, that's fine. This box is a little underwhelming just because, like, tabs and stickers aren't super high on my, like, want list, but I will always take them. But it's, like, not worth the same amount of money for other things. So I'm like, okay, the book really has to make up for it, you know? But I do, like the straws and I love this glass tumbler. So the tumbler I know will get so much use. Okay, and then we've got the tarot cards. These feature Ren as the Queen of Stars card and Julian as the King of Stars card. The characters from the book of this month, oh yeah, Bonesmith, yep, 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 yep. Great, okay, well, they look cool. They definitely look edgy. <laughs> And I'm into it. Okay, so I do know what this book is. I thought I saw spoilers, which is fine. It happens when you're on Bookstagram sometimes. I'm actually really excited though. So we've got the bookmark that matches the monthly spoiler card. I We got the first chapter or two as like a bonus promo thing in an Owl Crate a couple months back and I actually I was pretty excited. I actually have this book currently on hold on Libby. This character art is absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed. So I was actually kind of excited when I saw the spoiler because this is a book that I was like pretty interested in. Um, so this is Bonesmith by Nikki Powell Preto. Uh, this is basically the same cover. I don't know how much it differs. And then you got the digital sprayed edges that match. The back says, ready your blade, defeat the undead. I'm pretty excited for this. Okay, she's pretty cute. I don't mind the reverse dust jacket. I like this. It's not a foil, but I like the design on the front. <laughs> so I've actually been pretty excited for this. I mentioned it in an anticipated release video for the second half of the year because I was just like, oop got my eye on her. So I'm actually pretty excited to have this. In the Dominions, the dead linger, violent and unpredictable, unless a bonesmith severs the ghost from its earthly remains. For bonesmith Wren, becoming a Valkyrie, a ghost fighting warrior, is a chance to solidify her place in the noble house of bone and impress her frequently absent father. But when sabotage causes Wren to fail her qualifying trial, she is banished to the border wall. The last line of defense against the wasteland called the breath where the vicious dead roam unchecked determined to reclaim her family's respect ren gets her chance when a house of gold prince is kidnapped and taken beyond the wall to prove she has what it takes to be a valkyrie ren vows to cross the breach and rescue the prince but to do so she's forced into an uneasy alliance with one of the kidnappers a fierce iron smith called julian <laughs> from the exiled house of iron the very people who caused the breach in the first place, the House of Bones sworn enemy. As they travel, Ren and Julian spend as much time fighting each other as they do the undead. But when they discover there's more behind the kidnapping than either of them knew, they need to work together to combat the real danger, a dark alliance that is brewing between the living and the undead. Gideon the Ninth means Game of Thrones, White Walkers, in this dark, young, adult fantasy about discovery grace ghost fighting warriors who must journey into a haunted wasteland to rescue a kidnapped prince holy cow this just sounds so good i'm so excited um if you don't know or if like you're new to the channel or you don't keep up to date with me totally fine i've been on a really big D, &D watch listen kick i've been listening to podcasts and watching um just like shows of it on like twitch and so on um, and this is like giving Dungeons and Dragons, like this is giving tabletop RPG, like I'm so here for this, I'm so excited. One of my favorite memes is <laughs> somebody being like how they want to play a solo D&D &D session and then like a couple hours later coming back to that tweet and being like, I just realized that that's writing a book. And that's like the biggest mood <laughs> and I'm so excited for this. I just want to throw my whole TBR away these next two months, I'm so excited for these books focus okay that was a little dangerous kids don't do that at home all right on to the last box we've got a lumicrate 
I have no clue what's going to be in here. Okay, different vibes. We've got Hidden Magic for the August book. So the first thing that I see I'm so excited about, we've got bookmarks, character art bookmarks. These are genuinely some of my, holy shit, they're all so fucking hot. What the hell? These are some of my absolute favorite items that Illumicrate comes out with. Like, I want every book <laughs> ever to give me all of the characters in absolutely beautiful and stunning fan art. I think the last time this happened was for Babel, and those are some of my favorite bookmarks, and I just have them on display. They are so pretty. Um, they're kind of giving... What's that show? It's not... I know it's not a show. They're giving Shadowhunters vibes with the tattoos. This looks like the nerdy uh, friend. This bookmark features six iconic characters from the Mortal Instruments series based on the Mortal Instruments. I knew it. I knew it. I've seen the show, so I knew these characters. I am going to be so honest with you. Um, they are beautiful. I have no interest in reading any Cassandra Clare. I've seen the show, though, so, like, I know this is Jace. I know this is Clary. I know this is Clary's humanoid best. I've seen the show, um, and, like, these other boys. <laughs> um, but they're very pretty. So I'll probably hold on to them until further notice, just because I like to look at them. Okay, next thing I'm seeing is washi tape! <gasps> How cute! Oh my goodness, this purple one is to die for. I love getting washi tape. Fired by some of the characters in the house in the Cerulean Sea. <gasps> That's so cute. I need to reread that. I know that this is probably the garden gnome. I don't know who these other ones might be though. I clearly need to do a reread, but these are really pretty and I will absolutely get use out of them. Okay, next up is a mug. Yes, I feel like it has been summer for far too long and I'm over it and we haven't gotten a mug in so long. Wow, I have no clue what this is of, but they're so cute. Sapphic mug, I'm here for it. Our next collectible mug features this gorgeous illustration Illustration inspired by Priory of the Orange Tree. Please know that this item is both dishwasher and microwave safe. That's so exciting. So this is designed by Rosie Thorns 88. <gasps> Priory of the Orange Tree. That's so pretty. I actually own these now. So that's really exciting for me. I'm I'm probably gonna put this on that bookshelf. Probably. If we're being totally honest, I probably will. <laughs> but ah, uh, Sapphic Queens, they're beautiful. I love them. I'm excited to someday eventually in the future give it a try <laughs> all right and then the last thing here is a book tin so it says the book of eyes on the inside says new york times best-selling author margaret rogerson a sorcerer of thorns cool i have no idea what the book of eyes means because i still somehow have not read that book i know injustice to myself all right and then finally last thing is the book itself which i'm actually so happy all of these we're different. That's like the most success you can get in a month with multiple book subscription boxes. If every month was like this, I would just be, I would be too powerful. And that's probably why they don't allow it. Cause like I would ascend to godhood or something. So this is Zahara, I want to say, uh, Guardians of Dawn by S.J. Jones. This has been on my radar for quite some time and I'm so excited to see it in the flesh. This is absolutely gorgeous of a cover and these oh the the sprayed edges the digital edges oh pretty okay very simple and elegant a what uh, <laughs> i'm blushing um this is not what i was expecting i was not expecting full manga like okay the maiden who was loved by death holy cow um, spicy. I'm into this. I was not expecting like an anime manga cover like that. I, uh, that was so cool. Okay, let's see what this is about. Step into the stunning world of forbidden magic, romance, and adventure. Magic is forbidden throughout the morning realms. Magicians are called abominations and blamed for the plague of monsters that raised the land 20 years earlier. Jin Zahara already has enough to worry about, appeasing her stepmother's cruel whims, looking after her blind younger sister, and keeping her own magical gifts under control, without having to deal with rumors of monsters re-emerging from the marsh. But when a chance encounter with an easily flustered young man named Han 
brings her into contact with a secret magical resistance organization called the Guardians of Dawn, Zahara realizes there may be more to these rumors than she thought. A mysterious plague is corrupting the magicians of Zanhai, Zanhi, turning them into monsters. Only magicians are susceptible, and Zahara Han and their friends must find a way to defeat the plague before they or their loved ones are transformed. But as Zahara and company get closer to the source of evil, they discover an even greater danger, one that threatens to throw the morning realms into darkness. To prevent the balance between order and chaos, from being lost forever. Zahara must find the element warrior within. <gasps> Ooh, this sounds so interesting. I'm intrigued. I've not read anything from this author, but this is, again, it's been on my radar for a while. Like, I've just, it's one of those covers that you're just like, damn, that cover is so pretty, of course, like, I'm interested. Um, I, I still cannot get over <laughs> this edition. I'm obsessed. I cannot wait to read these books. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> this is really what I needed. I just needed to unbox some books. Uh, just like feel some joy. So yeah, wow, what a success. I I must say, absolutely hands down, Owl Crate took the cake. Not only was the adult absolutely stunning, but everything in the Owl Crate box, I am just like so excited about but I'm the tumbler from fairy loot was really nice the bookmarks even though I don't want to read them it's really nice I'm just so into this all of the books were different and they're all gorgeous oh what a lovely treat to myself <laughs> I'm so glad that I uh, am broke for some really beautiful books and just joy just pure happiness and joy I'm so excited I'm gonna go I have to text Eliza that I opened all of these and tell her everything. Um, so thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if any of these books are on your radar and that you're hoping to get to soon. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.